Hello, this is the Aftermarket Report with Jim in Vegas. Today's date is December the 23rd, 2018, and hello, Vegas. Hi, Jim, and hello. It's a Sunday morning. I uh, hope everyone's having a good weekend. So just wanted to just talk about some stocks today. It's a little bit longer than a normal list. Uh, just in anticipation, maybe for tomorrow, a lot of people probably won't even be trading. But in case you are, I'm just going to give you some stocks that we're going to talk about today and that we're going to be watching. So we're going to be talking about MRIN, UXIN, KALY, which is OTC, ASTC, OBLN, ADIL, MICT, and NIO. So we're first going to start off with MRIN, Marin Software. So... This is the stock that everyone knows had the little deal. I shouldn't even say little um, <laughs> because it's just <laughs> been one hell of a ride. But the, the deal with Google and uh, this stock has seriously moved extremely beautifully. Uh, for those of you that have traded this from, you know, a, where it was earlier in the week, if you held it from back then to Friday, my God, I got to give you congratulations because your patience is phenomenal. But even if you didn't and you just day traded it, um, good job. I mean, this stock had a beautiful run even on Friday. I mean, we saw 10s and I thought, you know, and I called it in the morning and I said, I'm going to see 10 bucks today. And uh, you know what? I was happy when it printed that 10. So I'm going to turn it over to Jim to talk about this chart because we're still bullish on MRIN. We're very bullish on MRIN. We well, were sure were last week when we called it out. I'm just going to post it. And this thing can go up to a resistance level of $11.20. That was the yearly high. And it had a pretty good little sell-off to the bottom here. And right when it got that right here at 215. And when it got that news, it started showing some, some good relatively it was going to bounce but when i got that google news last week it just ran up big time and it was one of the best trades that i've probably done all year long so i'm going to bring up the 20 day and you can see how we started having this little attention here and starting i bet you that's when the insiders were, were getting the news that it was going to team up with google so we called this out at 324 and had a good, good breakout and it pulled back and hit a support and then it bounced on up and it did the same thing. It pulled back, and then it bounced on up, and it pulled back, and it bounced on up, and it pulled back a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the daily chart on this. This was a great trade. And I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to pull up a five-day and magnify this just to show you how impressed I was with this trade. And I'm going to use a 15-minute chart on it. So we had this first breakout here, and I was calling these trades out right and left. And I said it was going to pull back a little bit and hit support, which it did was previous uh, consolidated period, and it bounced up and hit my resistance. And it pulled back, and it went ahead and bounced back up again. So I'm 100% bullish on this. We closed at 970 on Friday. We followed this trend line. I'm going to pull up this one-day chart here real fast. And we were calling this out from there and follow this trend line all the way up. Then when it started showing a little sign of weakness, it didn't pull back up much. I mean, it just ran right to the 200 SMA that I have on a daily one minute, and it held that pretty well with some little bounces up here. I think I flipped this probably 15 times Friday, every bit of it, because I was just calling. It was just such an easy call. So let's see how this thing turns out this week, M-R-I-N. I'm still bullish on it, but if I'm on a good solid support right here around 865. I think, you know, if it pulls back, it has two supports at 865 and maybe right around 940 something. So keep in our MRIN on watch and UXIN. Well, UXIN, I'm just going to turn it right over to you, Jim. I mean, you know, you've been the one that's been bullish on this one all this time. So I'm just going to let you talk all about it. All right. Well, she was a baby. She, she was easy to call. She could, She went up. This is a five-day chart, so I'm going to pull up a 20. And I just love it when I've called, these, called this thing down here at the bottom here at 281. And we ran up and got us about a 300% trade out of it. 
and on the way up I kept playing kept scalping it you know I'd get out at the high and I'd wait for it to pull back and then there was days where it just didn't want to pull back and but every time it had a real big bounce it would pull back to the next high of the previous day and then we just run that 50 all the way up in this 20 day chart every time you'd hit that 50 that was a good place to buy at so then the other day I telling the room Thursday or at least I said in our in one of our reports maybe the last one to, to expect it that we've kind of hit a place where I think a resistance is and it was going to pull back pretty good well if I'd have kept my eyes on this stock when it had that pullback that I called it would have been a wonderful entry because it pulled back right around seven bucks and then Friday it ran all the way to 830 and then this did get some news about um China is wanting to do some, have some more regulations on the gas cars, and they're trying to push these EV cars, electric vehicles, up. So I want you to keep Nile on your watch list on this stock because Nile's now at a three-month high, I mean low. And so we could get a pretty good little bounce off Nile next week too. So, and I'm just putting these two together because one of them promotes gasoline engines, and they try to sell them, and then the other one in that news article could maybe have that after a five-day sell-off on Nile it could probably have a rebounce on it so the next one Vegas really loves this one here it's my girlfriend named Callie oh yeah I love Callie <clears throat> I mean this company just keeps getting more and more news I mean I gotta tell you I think they got news every couple weeks but they did have the recent news that they were updating on their phase two clinical study about, um, you know, the CBD and prevention of, of um, this disease called acute GVHD, which is really called graft versus host disease, which is um, an illness you can get when you get a bone marrow transplant done. So it's a very life-threatening complication that does affect bone marrow transplant patients. Um, so anyhow, uh, what they've noticed is that they've been doing a study, and it's a phase two study, and uh, they've uh, recognized that no patients have developed this uh, acute illness while receiving uh, CBD treatment. So that is amazing. I mean, to see that um, you know, cannabis uh, is helping with, you know, things like this. Um, so what the patients, um, it was a 12 patient so, um, that were going through the process and uh, the results were quite positive. And um, as a result, uh, they're going to have, uh, I think, more patients enrolled and they're going to have completed the entire course of treatment by February 2019, the end of February uh, 2019. So we will hear probably more updates on this, but I have to say that really pleased with Cali, uh, the actual company, I love that where they're going. It's had a nice run and then it's had a really nice pullback. So I'm gonna turn it over to Jim to actually talk about this pullback because uh, I think there's more juice in Cali. So, yeah. Jim, over to you. Well, when I mentioned, when we talked about Kelly, Vegas jumped right in it. And she jumped right in it down here at a very low price. And she's keeping a core position. She has an idea, and I do too, that this thing can run to 10 cents. Some are saying 25. So, what we did, we, we, we ran it up. And then on this day here, some idiot came out and he badmouthed it. And I said, no, this stock's still good. So, play the pullback. <laughs> and, it, and it pulled back. And, and I called this little support level right here at 930093, and then five days later, we're back up at my target. We hit three cents. And the funny thing about it, we came into the room, and it was at 18.018. And I was saying to the room, I said, if this goes up to two, we're going to go to two, five, and then three. And it, it did. It, we, you know, it ran up there, and then we had uh, a consolidated area right here just under four cents. And, and I could tell by the pattern of that chart that we were going to have a little correction because it just didn't want to break that four. And we didn't have a little one. We had a big one. This thing dropped more than 
or a little less than 100, well, about 100%. I mean, we're down here to 1.5, and I got in on that knife and held it for a swing trade the next day. And, you know, I got out, read it open, and then it ran all the way back up to 3. And it pulled back to the 50 SMA, and there was another entry level right here. So, you know, Cali, we're definitely bullish on. And the volume's still there. I, they, they got they brought that new guy in, that new inventor to the company. So this is really getting a big boost uh, of attention. So keep Cali on watch. And we're going to have a target. We want to bust past this 393. We want to bring it on up. I think any knife or pullback will be just a healthy. Play it off, your, off of however arsenal you have, but keep a good eye on it. And then... She, uh, next one's going to be ASTC. Okay, so ASTC, Astrotech Corporation. Um, I think a lot of you actually stock. And, um, you know, this company here, I think, Jim, is this the one that you mentioned to me, too, that they had a deal with uh, Lily? Yep. Eli Lily. <coughs> so this is the airport so one. ADL Pharmaceutical? No, no uh, a ASTC was the one that had the, uh, the oh, bomb I'm tracer sorry. I thing. I you talking about ADIL right now. No, a ASTC. Oh, I didn't hear you. Okay. <laughs> that was next to mine. Yeah, I was confused yep. with AstroTech Corp. Yeah. So AstroTech Corporation also has a deal. Um, they actually had, they actually announced that they had um, passed the uh, ECAC test, and yep. they're expected to be in global airports um, very soon. And uh, that was actually good news for the company. I mean, AstroTech is in Texas. They do a lot of uh, science and technology development. You know, they actually have a very interesting website, uh, to say the least. But uh, this actual company, I mean, I really like this weekly chart, and this is what appealed to me a lot. Um, so I think that there's more room here for the stock to move. I am bullish on the stock and, uh, I'll let Jim talk about the chart, but I really liked, uh, what I was looking at on the weekly. And, uh, I think for those of you that, um, are not really liking day trades, you know, ASTC might be a stock that you might want to watch or consider <clears throat> as a swing trade. Um, I really like the way it behaved the last, uh, couple days. Um, so I think it's got a lot more in it <clears throat> and I'll just let Jim talk more about that. But the weekly chart's really nice. Yep. The weekly chart and the yearly chart is real nice. <coughs> this thing had run up all the way. I mean, it's, it had a major pullback about the middle of the year to $1.64. And then all of a sudden it had this big bounce to eight fifteen in one day. And then, so it's, it, it consolidated and pulled back and then it just caps it's just a nice looking up and down chart which you know i can appreciate so i'm going to bring it up to the 20 day and you will see what i'm talking about the last five to six to seven days here last eight days it's been very bullish it's a great great little channel it played off the 100 sma here hit the 200 bounced on up and hit a resistance at 494 so i'm going to pull it up that yearly again just to show you that's about, you know, that's, that's a pretty good little resistance there. So we got target next, which would be a hard resistance at 562. Well, on a breakout like we had Friday, where it ran all the way from from 316 up to 5 bucks, almost a $2 bounce. Well, you definitely have to keep it on watch. So I'm going to pull up the, the, the one day. And you see what happened right before the market closed on uh, Friday it had a big bounce it bounced all the way up to that five it, it didn't happen until the end of the day and then after hours you're gonna have people getting out of it selling it and taking profit because of that huge bounce H-U-G-E huge so we've pulled back here to 375 after hours I can't wait to see what this thing does Monday I'm not in it right now I always like to play a little pullback and looks like we had one so we're going to see how it acts, and I'm going to try to see if I can get a scalp out of it, and maybe hold it in a small core position. But I'm definitely going to be keep it on watch, and that's going to be ASTC. And Vegas, you know which okay. one we're going to talk about next? Yes. I mean, you know, I should have just, you know, I could have switched my order here. 
Um, anyways, we'll just talk now about OBLN. Yep. So Obalon uh, Therapeutics. Um, this also had some news. And uh, as a result, um, the stock did move on Friday. We were in the stock at 255 Took it all the way to 330, stop loss at 315. So traded that green. And uh, actually, I still like the weekly chart. I mean, I think the there's still some opportunity here on this particular stock on OBLN. You know, some people were disappointed because they bought the stock at a higher price and then the stock pulled back. And, um, you know, as you guys know, this company produces, you know, they're in the industry of providing medical devices and implants. And they are at a commercial stage where they are focusing on commercializing um, medical devices that treat obese and overweight people by facilitating uh, weight loss. And they have this product called the Obalon Balloon System, uh, which is something that is you swallow it and then it gas filled uh, balloon is designed to provide weight loss. So this is really interesting. I mean, I would love to read more about this company uh, so I could talk about it more next time. But uh, I think this is a really cool concept. Um, so anyhow, this is uh, they did have news about this. And um, as a result, the stock moved, but it also pulled back. So where do you see, what do you see in this chart, Jim? Because there is an opportunity here to probably still trade the stock. Yeah, I was looking, you, you're saying it's for weight loss. I'm showing some before and after pictures of mm -hmm. a couple of ladies here that, that have, been tested through it and I'll tell you what it does do wonders for them and in a short period of time six months I think must be removed after six months it says here the balloon yes so yeah this is uh, this is interesting and so, also men have been using this not oh, just ladies oh really yes well yeah that, that's I mean I, I think they show a lot of pictures of women um, but I'm sure there's a lot of men that use yeah, it too. So yeah. there you go. There's a general, you know, men too. So yeah. this is a great, I mean, great product. Yes. Um, you know, this could put other companies, weight loss companies out of business. Oh yeah. And so let's but, look at um, the, yeah, let's look at the chart. We had a cup, cup and handle here. Yes. Uh, Friday it ran, it broke out from 161 and they, all the way up to 340. created a little resistance right here around 312. I'm going to put that 312 line in there right now so I can have that come Monday. So we pulled back, and I, I didn't play this play because I was so interested in MRIN. I didn't want to take my eyes off of it. But we did have a nice pullback, and people were asking me about this stock in the room. And I said, yeah, I think we're down here in a couple cup and handle part when it was down here at the bottom to start looking for a reversal. And I said, you know, if you want to cost average down, it might be a good idea. And you could get out if you got in too high, you could probably get out and take a profit. Or So it bounced on up. It ran up to 263. Then it hit that 281. And it held here after hours at 260. So I'm definitely going to keep this one on watch come Monday morning, which is tomorrow. And remember, the market's going to be closed tomorrow right around 1 o'clock. So keep that in mind. Probably not going to be a very busy day, but who knows? There's uh, always on days like that. There's always a great play to be played in my history of, as a as a trader. So we closed at 260. We've got it on watch, and I'm going to be taking a close eye on it come Monday. And now Vegas, you got your Adele. <laughs> you can talk well, about her all you want. Yeah. So Adele, Adele Pharmaceuticals. So I really like this uh, stock, and the reason I really like it, aside from the news that it had. Um, I really like the fact that it had a new 52 week closing high. So that, you know, those kind of setups really intrigue me very much. Um, the chart's been nothing but bullish. Um, if you guys go, you know, as far back as even, you know, December 13th, uh, there was a parabolic rise. There was a lot of volume surges happening here on the stock. And I actually think the stock is, you know, definitely undervalued in my opinion. However, I still feel that the stock has room to go more. Um, the fact that it made a nice new 52 week high is extremely promising. And, uh, I also like the news on the company and, um, you know, I think for those of you that are looking for a swing trade, um, you know, cause sometimes day trading is so stressful, the in and out. So something where you can get in at a good support level and Jim will talk about that. 
um, you should be writing them down, you know, where he sees the entry and support and resistance, because that should be like where you would consider going into the trade and also where you're going to get out. As you guys know, Jim always has a plan where he gets in and where he gets out, because again, nobody wants to be holding a bag. And we're going to talk a lot about that in going forward with future um, videos. And we'll probably have some educational content that will be coming out uh, in the future. So stay tuned for that. Um, so Jim, talk about, you know, where you see supports and resistance on this chart because it's made a new 52 week high, but this could also pull back a little, but I think there'll be a continuation on the stock. Yeah. And, and the, the news, you know, the, it, it got a deal contract with university of Virginia and plus it fights opioids. So, you know, that that's with the opioid addiction we have in this country. That's probably one of the catalysts that makes this stock run real good. So we're going to post it. We're going to pull up ADIL. And I like, oh, I was just singing songs last week when this thing ran and when Vegas was gone. And let me show you something here on this 20-day. This is a beautiful 20-day chart. I just love this 20-day chart. I, I called this thing out when it was down at 130, and it ran all the way up to 5 bucks in two days. And I was telling the room, I said, you know, it's time for a pullback. You get something that bounces up so strong like this, and so... It, People are going to, I'm going to take profit. You know, I'm going to take profit and I'm going to be playing the ups and downs on it because it has so, I mean, it has impressive swings. You can just 40, 50 cent swings on this thing. And so we had a breakout while Vegas was back on vacation from here when it was down here at two bucks and it ran all the way up to 427, 420, 440. And then again, we had that little correction and we run this trend line. See how it bounces off that trend line? So I've got this trend line going right now, and I'm very bullish on this stock too. I'm very bullish because I like to play the pullbacks. So I always say, you know, don't chase nothing. If you're a stock you like, just let it come to you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try to guess that maybe it might bounce to around 330 at the lowest. So write down 330 on your on your board for an entry. And see if we can keep, or yeah, or maybe hit this trend right around three bucks. But it could go ahead and bounce on up too, because you know we had that pre that after hour high at 4:30, and that's where I had this last trend line over here at 4:27. So we hit that trend line, and the next resistance on this is going to be right around 4:41. So that's where you want to take it. So play the pullback on this stock. Make sure the volume's there and the momentum. But we're definitely 100% <coughs> bullish on this trade. And I love this stock, Adele. And then the next one Vegas is going to bring up is going to be MICT. Yeah, so MICT, uh, you know, I, ca I called the stock in the room on Friday. Things, you know, that it also had some news too. And... Uh, you know, people are like, oh, what's what's so big about the stock? But, you know, it had good news. Um, MICT, uh, as you guys know, um, they have an agreement with Brookfield Interactive, which is a Hong Kong-based company, to sign a definitive acquisition agreement with Paragon X. Now, I just want to explain who Brookfield Interactive is because they're a Hong Kong company. They are a company with a focus on Chinese lottery. As you guys know, Chinese lottery is massive. Um, they're in the sports and gaming market, and they have a very good history of uh, executing their digital technology strategies in China. And uh, they have really strong relationships with the Chinese provincial lottery centers, the government, and also um, various uh, portals. So, you know, the, the connection between MICT, who obviously is listed on the NASDAQ, um, they provide mobile services and um, also mobile resource management and mobile computing platforms and logistics management in US, the U.S., Europe, and, of course, where I just came from, Israel. So um, this is a really good news, in my opinion. Uh, Paragon X is a developer of software solutions uh, and they do online trading in contracts for difference in various global financial instruments like stocks, like commodities, like indices and uh, ETFs. So this is a really interesting synergy between these three. 
And what they're going to be doing now, these three together, are creating a new company called Global Fintech Holdings, which actually makes sense. Because if you think about what those three all do, they're all involved in financial technology. So I think there's going to be some good growth potential with MICT. And um, I'll let Jim talk about that chart, but I think there's going to be more good news on MICT down the road. Yeah, and I, I was watching a video of a guy that I follow that was in China, and he said one of the, there's a city that he mentioned in there, but they, the gambling, they, 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 they more or less have this one city just for gambling alone, and they rake in a lot more money than Las Vegas ever thought about. So the Chinese really like to gamble. So I wanted to bring that that up. But um, the yearly chart's beautiful. We had a real good sell-off. We had a real good sell-off. And I think it, where did it close at? At MI 86 cents. So to me, that is way below support. Support on this stock's right around a buck. And that's where you start, you know, we want to break that buck and get above it. But it, it can pull back to another support level I have here at 65.84. Just looking at the yearly chart, if it does have a pullback. But we're definitely bullish on it. And I'm going to bring this up to a 20-day so I can have a different picture. You see how I like to bring up the yearly first. Then I'm going to bring up a 20-day. And you can see what happened here right here Thursday evening. We had that big breakout. Went from 29 cents all the way up to a buck. And I mentioned that a little bit earlier. And then we had to pull back after that big run. That's a, what is that, about 300, 400% run almost? 300 and some percent run after hours. Okay, and then it pulled back to my support level here at 66.58. Kind of consolidated right there. That's where I got that red line. And then it followed up the trend line. So every time it hit that trend line, it bounced on up. We got a little created support right here. I'm going to put that in there at 78.23. So let's, let's, let's see if we can get to that first support or if it go ahead and continue on up. But if we break the dollar, that's where it's going to really start getting interesting. And I'm going to pull up that one-year chart one more time, show you where that dollar is. That dollar is right there at support level, see? See, if it fill the gap, if we can get to that dollar, we can bring it on up and I can start drawing some new resistance lines in here. So maybe $1.09. $1.20 would be maybe a good little pivot point on a yearly chart. About $1.20 could be a support there maybe. But it's definitely going to be called a resistance because that's where the 200 SMA is at 118.25. I'm going to definitely, I'm with Vegas on this. I'm very bullish on it. And I'm going to have it on my watch list looking forward Monday for maybe a, um, a definitely a scalp. Because I think it's up a little bit high, but it depends on the momentum and how she acts next week. And so I, we got that on. And I mentioned Niall a little earlier. I said we'd probably get a pullback on it. We got it. I was bearish last week on it. This week I'm going to start being bullish because we hit a triple bottom since the IPO came out. And that's Niall. And then I'm going to throw one more in there that I think is really cool. And that's going to be called Lululemon. But see the triple bottom on Nile. And then I'm going to post this one out to this one of the founders of Stock Twits, Mr. Yeah, Howard. I do want to mention, I love Lulu Lemon. I mean, yep. Canadian company. The clothes are so comfortable. I am not even kidding you, Jim. you got to buy yourself some lemon pants. I think I will. <laughs> I could probably because, trade in them pretty good, you know, if they're comfortable. Because I wear yeah, sweats. Yeah, I think you'll hear trading your tr concentrating and trading will go up. I mean, they're so comfortable. <clears throat> you don't even feel like you got anything on. I mean, that's how comfortable the product is. Yep. And I've had Lululemon products that I've had for a couple of years and the quality is just amazing. And I wash them constantly and the quality is just so good. And the customer service, I got to tell you, the stuff's not cheap. So let's be clear on that. Unless you can find a sale, which, you know, the sales are not that huge. Um, but you know what? The quality is just really good and comfortable. And that's why people buy the stuff. And they have good service. Yep. And service goes a long way. 
okay? People are loyal to the brand. That's very important. So, Jim, you tell us about that chart because that's on sale. Yep. Howard, I hope you got your ears on because last time I mentioned this one to you, it was down here at 113 and it bounced all the way up to one to 122 where that 200 SMA is. So what I'm thinking, we're going to have a Santa Claus rally on this maybe come this week and it'll bounce maybe back up to about halfway at least. I think you at least get $5 out of this trade. We're at 113.74 right now, which is a yearly bottom. And there's a chart to prove it to you right there. So that kind of concludes our market report. Vegas, you got a conclusion or you want to say something here at the end? No, I just want to say thanks to everyone for liking, following, subscribing. Um, we will have a little contest coming up. So I will be looking to share the details uh, probably maybe tomorrow. So stay tuned for Monday's update. And I'll give you guys, uh, our YouTubers, a contest. And uh, I think you guys will actually like it uh, because it's to thank you for following us and subscribing. But we have something I think that you'll like uh, to participate in because at the end of the day, it's going to help you. So, and that's what we're about is helping the trading community. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in and for following, liking, subscribing, and also especially for the fabulous feedback that you guys give us. And we appreciate any comments you share because it just helps us to improve. And we're always looking to do better and better. So it helps everybody. So thank you for tuning in and definitely look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, speaking of better, better, I give Vegas kudos for making me a better trader. Being a trader with her for the last year and a half has opened my eyes to other ways. And, you know, we're always learning. And we learn from the ones that don't know how to trade. And we learn from the ones that really know how to trade. And Vegas, thank you very much. Yeah, and I just want to say, <laughs> Jim's turning me into a scalper. <laughs> yep. Well, so, I've, I've seen, know, I've seen times where... I like it. Yeah, I seen... like it because I'm learning to take the money uh, faster. So not maybe I love holding uh, positions long. But uh, also sometimes I'm taking the money profits faster. <clears throat> and uh, in the end, uh, no bag holding for me. Uh, yep. But I will say sometimes I still have bags here and there. So I am not a perfect trader. And people that say that they are are lying. So yeah, anyhow, I uh, definitely, um, you know, people do have losses. No one can say they're a perfect trader. Um, that is human nature. So um we you know we're real we try to be open and honest every single day and uh you know if you're listening to us on the youtube channel and you haven't even visited our little room there uh you're welcome to come by um you know come check it out there's nothing required come on in come connect with us on voice love to meet you love to get to know you and uh you know maybe you decide you like to be part of the family but you know no harm in coming in so come and visit us and hopefully you'll uh, want to be part of this fabulous, fabulous uh, group that we are a part of. So thank you, everyone, for making this journey amazing. All right. This is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, 12-23-2018, and we love stocks. Okay.